Hello everyone. Today we'll be looking at the Her Smart Touch kiosk software. Before we dig in, I thought I would give you an overview of what the kiosk software is and what it is used for. For the most part, the kiosk software is designed for client use. When I say client, I mean the end user that is actually working out on the Her Smart Touch machines. These clients can use the kiosk software to create temporary RFIDs if the facility is not assigning permanent RFIDs to the clients. The clients can also see their training program and progress as well. The kiosk software is very useful but not absolutely necessary if clients are being assigned permanent RFIDs in SmartTouch. With permanent RFIDs, the client can come into the gym and scan into the machine without ever having to use the kiosk. However, they can still use the kiosk to see their training program and progress if they would like. It should be noted, the kiosk software is not where a supervisor sets up clients and training programs. That is done in the SmartTouch software that is accessed through a web browser. The kiosk software is linked to SmartTouch, but it is separate software that can be purchased with your SmartTouch system. Usually, when customers want the kiosk software, they purchase a touchscreen computer from us and we ship the computer with the software already loaded on it. The kiosk software can be accessed from an icon on the computer's desktop. However, the kiosk software automatically loads whenever the computer boots up or is rebooted. If the kiosk software is open and you want to close it, just type the word shutdown in the username and select the login button. If you have a keyboard attached to your kiosk computer, hitting the escape key does the same thing. When asked if you want to exit, select yes. Now let's talk about permanent RFIDs versus temporary RFIDs and the different use cases. If your facility assigns permanent RFIDs to clients through the Her Smart Touch system, scanning into the kiosk is not necessary for working out on the Her Strength machines. If your facility assigns permanent RFIDs to clients through the Her Smart Touch system, logging into the kiosk is not necessary for working out on the Her Strength machines. We always recommend the permanent RFID option if you are able, since it makes things much easier for the clients and staff. If your facility is not assigning permanent RFIDs to every client, they can use temporary RFIDs. This way, with a limited number of RFID cards or bracelets, your clients can still have a training program assigned to them through the Smart Touch system but use and reuse the temporary RFIDs to work out on the HER machines. It should be mentioned here that if you assign permanent RFIDs to your clients and one of them forgets to bring it to the gym, they too can use temporary RFIDs for a single workout and use their permanent RFID for their next visit. If your facility uses temporary RFIDs, Clients will need to log into the kiosk software using the username and password assigned to them in SmartTouch. After a client has logged in with their username and password, they are taken to the last workout page. More about this page in a moment. If a client only wants to work out using a temporary RFID, they will pick up one of the available temporary RFIDs, then select the icon in the lower right corner that says Start Your Exercise. They will then touch the RFID to the reader and the RFID's number will appear here. Next, select Assign. They are then automatically logged out of the kiosk software and will see the message, Card is now assigned and you can start your exercises. The client can then scan into the machines and do their assigned exercises. When the client is finished exercising, they can again scan the RFID on the kiosk's reader. If the client has not performed any exercises since being assigned the temporary RFID, they will see the following message. You haven't performed any exercises, your visit will be closed. Whether or not they have performed any exercises, as soon as they log out, the temporary RFID is no longer assigned to them and free to be used by the next client. At any time, clients can log into the kiosk either by using the username and password assigned to them in SmartTouch or, if they are assigned a permanent RFID, they can log into the kiosk 
by scanning their RFID on the reader. Now let's look at some of the things that can be seen in the kiosk software. As mentioned previously, after logging in, the first thing the client sees is the last workout page that shows the progress between their first and last visits. The software groups machines into three categories, upper, core, and lower body, and then shows an overall percentage change in strength or resistance level for each group. In this case, the client has a 59% increase for upper and lower body and does not have any core exercises as part of their training program. At the top, they can view information about their latest workout, training level, current progress, and duration. To view the last workout by machine, clients can select the list view here. The exercises are color-coded according to how the client last performed each of them. To view their current training program, the client can click the training programs icon here. They can see the number of sets, resistance level, and reps for each machine. If the client chooses the training progress icon, they can see their progress over time. The progress shown is the average maximum load for each visit over time. They can choose to view all visits or visits for the last year. They can also see the amount of time spent on the machines during each visit. If your facility is using the class feature in SmartTouch, clients can see and sign up for classes by selecting the classes icon. They can choose a class, then select the sign up button. If they wish to remove the sign up, they click the class again and select cancel sign up. There are a couple of different ways the classes can be viewed here. These can be changed in the kiosk settings. Lastly, you can send your clients messages that can be read in the kiosk software. These messages can also be read on the Her Machine displays as well. I will cover that in another training session. To see their messages, the client can select the contact icon at the top of the screen. If the client has unread messages, a small number will appear here indicating how many unread messages they have. They will also be notified of unread messages when they first log into the kiosk. On the left, the client will see a list of their messages. When one is selected, the text of the message is displayed on the right. Messages can only be sent to clients by staff members with proper access in SmartTouch. While the client cannot write custom messages back in the kiosk software, if they are assigned an instructor in the SmartTouch system, they can choose from nine standard topics to send to the instructor who can then follow up. The client simply chooses one of the topics, then selects the Send Contact Request button. And that concludes this session for the HER Kiosk software. I hope this has been helpful and I wish you and your clients the absolute best.